Hi there, I'm Scott Lowe with Actual Type Media. Thank you for joining us for this Spotlight Series segment. Today, I'm joined by Robert Zecca, who is the Chief Operating Officer for Scala Computing. Robert, thank you for joining us. I appreciate the invite. Thank you, Scott. So Robert, if I were a you know, new to Scala Computing, what would you say you do? So Scala Computing has a secure hyperscalable platform which runs high performance computing jobs on the public cloud. Uh, we kind of sit in between the user and the public cloud and do full orchestration. So we allow users to migrate, deploy, submit, and manage all the high performance computing jobs. They're sort of a one-stop shop. It's completely on demand, meaning there's no queue times. And you'd log into the web-based portal, you pick your software, click a button after you give it an input, and within two or three minutes, you're, you have a high performance computing cluster run in the cloud. What are some of the, the key use cases you find your customers are adopting you for um, more commonly than others? Well, the high performance computing market is gigantic. So we try yeah. to focus on three market verticals, uh, environment, weather, and engineering. Uh, the engineering part of it is kind of broken up into two sections. One is uh, CAE collaboration, and the second is networking. And we're finding uh, with what we do in networking, we have a, a really great solution, sort of a world's first, being able to do network simulation at data center scale. So we find a lot of people getting attracted to that particular use case. What is CAE engineering? Well, CAE is computer-aided engineering. So oh, if you're doing oh, okay. system-related yeah. development or chip-related development, creating product using engineering tools. So are people when, you, uh, when people adopt you, are they using the tools you're providing to basically do their own product development, or are they running more mission-critical operational workloads? Like, what is the, what is the, what are they running? Actually, it's both, but more on the mission critical workloads. Uh, people do use simulation tools to do product development. Let's say in silicon development, there's a lot of simulation that goes on and it's getting very intense. So being able to get on the cloud where we could say you have a virtually unlimited amount of compute and storage and memory, it allows you to do your development on there. But uh, a lot of times, we, especially in a networking simulation, uh, where people are, especially the hyperscalers, trying to make sure that their infrastructure is working properly. They will do a lot of simulations and especially network simulations using models from all the networking gear companies. And uh, it's really mission critical to them to do this testing before they go live in their production network. Got it. Um, so what is when when people come look for you what are the business challenges they're trying to solve that they're not they're not finding with competitors or with other solutions well there are a number of competitors in cloud-based solutions for network simulation but as i mentioned we are really doing well in the networking space we feel there are really no competitors in doing network simulation at data center scale. It's a world's first product. So anyone that's interested in, and when I say data center scale, anyone that's interested in doing network simulations above, let's say five, 600 endpoints or servers, we can allow them to simulate up to hundreds of thousands of endpoints or servers. So there's really no competition in that arena for us at this particular time. So going down the sort of the network simulation um, hold this for a second, um, I'm not going to ask for company names, but what are what are the what are they trying to achieve with the network simulation? Is it so they can understand what they're going to need for infrastructure and architecture without having to actually do a POC, or is it just helping them sort of start to spec um, requirements? Like what, what is what are they trying to achieve with with your tools? There's, there's a lot of equipment that's involved in the, these data centers, especially for the hyperscalers. And more, most importantly, they would like to know when they're setting up this equipment or before they put it live, how will certain applications affect their users? So users have specific applications that are running in a hyperscalers data center, and maybe they'd like to say, okay, uh, we want to do some machine learning on top of the applications our users use. So if we enable machine learning, 
What will that do to our network, the way it's configured? And how does that affect our users that are using the platform? So they simulate this and make sure before they go live, their users don't have a uh, poor experience. So in, in some sense, it's a capacity planning tool that allows them to basically pro be proactive before they do something that's going to impact uh, productivity, efficiency, potentially availability. Definitely capacity related in terms of do they need, you know, 100 gigabit uplinks, 400 gigabit? Uh, could they have blocking, non-blocking, how they set up their infrastructure and make sure that it's set up properly to give them the user experience they're accepting? This is great. Robert, thank you for this overview of Scala Computing. And um, if people want to learn more, where can they go? They can go to our website at www.scalacomputing.com. And uh, there's a section in there to contact us. Um, thank you so much, Robert. Um, if people would like to see more of our Spotlight Series segments, um, you can go to Actual Tech Media's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash actualtechmedia. Thank you for watching this Spotlight Series video.